gon' make it Ho baby, they be boy crazy me, I got a money fetish They in love with suckers, they gon' end up diabetic Today I'm gonna be doing a makeup video and the look that I'm going for is kind of a reddish brown smoky eye and then just like face makeup but it's gonna be like kind of dramatic so I hope you like this video I already filled in my eyebrows using my Anastasia pomade in medium brown and I also used just a dark brown um, eyeshadow to help set the pomade so I already concealed also so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids using my Maybelline better skin concealer in the shade light 20 um, and I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid and then I'm gonna set it using my Lorac Pro contour kit and I'm gonna use the shade the one that I use every day I'm just going to be using my Kylie Jenner Nice palette. It's the Christmas edition and I just got this palette for Christmas and I really like it. It's like the colors are just really pretty and pigmented and they blend out really nice. Um, I'm going to be taking the shade Macaroon and I don't know if I said this already but I'm putting it into my crease as my trans one of my transitions just so I get a nice blend. I'm going to use more than one transition but yeah. The next palette that I'm going to be using is my um, Sweet Peach palette by Too Faced and I'm just going to use the color Summer Yum and also put that into my crease. shade I'm gonna be using for my transition is this color right here um, it's called I think it's called number one or number four I can't tell if this is yeah I think this shades called number one I'm just gonna be using this one and this is the NYX professional makeup fire palette um, and I'm gonna be putting this one kind of lower into my crease Now to blend out the color, I'm just going to take the same blending brush that I used before but I cleaned it so there's nothing on it and just try to blend it out so it's more not so like I have a black eye. using for my eyelid is um the shade wonderland and my kylie palette right here and i'm just gonna put that all over my lid Now 
that I packed on that color, I'm just going to be taking another blending brush and just blending it into my crease a little bit better. So I finished my eyeshadow look and now I'm just going to move on to the rest of my face before I put my lashes and my mascara on. For a primer today, I'm going to be using my NYX Angel Veil Primer. I think this is a pretty good drugstore primer if you're looking something that's like pore filling. Um, I use a lot of it. be taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in the shade 120Y245 and I dropped it on my carpet so it looks a little bit weird and there's a cat hair on it. Amazing. But um, I just paint the stripes on my face. Um, I usually do three on each side and then just like that. Um, and if I need more coverage, then I add more. Blend it out. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I think this brush is really good, especially for the price, to blend out your foundation. Um, it just makes it look really smooth. And um, I think it works well, especially with this foundation. Like, usually I'd use, like, a beauty blender for... I'm saying a like a lot. I'm so sorry. But I think for the Ultra HD Stick Foundation, a brush works a lot better. My Maybelline Ma my Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray to dampen my brush a little bit. I also think that wetting it a little bit helps. For cream contour, I'm going to be taking my Tartise Pro Glow Palette and I'm just going to use the um, cream contour right here. To blend out my contour, I'm going to use my... L I have such a bad lisp, slur, lisp, I don't know. I have one of those really bad because of my retainer, so I'm so sorry. But I'm going to be using my e.l.f. small stippling brush and I'm going to wet it again to help blend it smoother. I'm going to use the same concealer that I used to prime my eyelids. For setting under my eyes, I'm going to just be using this same shade right here. 
and then for the rest of my face I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me um, I think it's the stay matte loose finishing powder in the shade 10 fair light I really like this powder and if you don't have it and need something cheap I definitely recommend it contour my face a little bit more I'm just gonna use this medium contour shade in my palette and just put this in all the areas I put the cream contour blush I'm gonna use this bright pink shade um, by the brand artistry I really don't know where you can find this my mom bought it and I don't even know where she got it at but I'm pretty sure if you looked it up online you could find it I'm gonna set my face with the same spray for highlight, I'm going to be mixing these two colors right here. For my eyes, I'm going to take the shade that I used on my lid and um, just apply that under my eyes. A black um, pencil liner to line my waterline and um, the top one I think it's called your lash line I'm not sure though to help um, set the black eyeliner on the bottom and make it kind of more dramatic I'm just taking the black eyeshadow from my NYX palette and then I'm gonna do this and then apply a thin layer of mascara for lashes today I'm gonna use my Cara 100% human hair eyelashes in the number 138 I get these from the discount store and I really like them so if you have if you ever see this brand of eyelashes um, at a discount store you should get them they have a whole bunch of different um, styles too and the band's really thin. I finished straightening my hair. Do you guys want to know how I did that? I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to straighten their hair, but like as far as like the routine that I use to do it, I do have a video on my channel about like the products that I use to straighten my hair. So definitely go check that out if you want to. Um, I also reapplied my lashes because when I turned the camera off and I looked up close, Girl, they were not put on right and I mean they still aren't but I also I mean they're put on okay but I suck at putting lashes on it's just not my not my um, not my talent I guess you could say I also um, changed the lip I switched it to this shade 935 cinnamon by Maybelline um, it's really pretty it's just like a normal like nude color and then I put the gloss on top of it just so it's not so like I don't know, I just wanted to add a little bit more shine to my lip. I'm having an issue right here where it's not like wanting to keep the color right there and I don't know why. 